Wow, you want to load a save game? Yeah, I do. I'm probably going to get destroyed, but... Uh... Okay, so we looped back through here. Welcome back to Virgo vs. the Zodiac. Seems like that goat swordsman isn't sleeping in my way anymore. I'm probably going to get destroyed, because I usually get destroyed... Uh... A few times in. Okay, do I have anything to spend? Nope, I really don't. Let's just go right in. Looking at this, this leads us straight into... Uh, shift toggles us between here. We got the blueprints of the galaxy. And we're on our way to dethrone Capricorn. Oh god. No. What is this shit? Thankfully, none of that should have shown up on the <laughs> recording, because this is all, uh, game capture and not, uh... Ahem, anyways. Moving right along. Essentially, it's safe to say that our first dungeon at hand is complete. Just want to actually get a, a handle on Made it to the engine corridor. Oh no. Okay, so we can't actually go back that direction. It's one thing that's been kind of not much utilized thus far is the jump. All right, let's stop fucking around. Was I hoping to get into a random encounter to so practice my timing again? Yeah, a little bit. All right, back in the database. Let's just move right on into the temple garden. Might get something in here. If you want a book, just take it yourself. I'm just a figurehead. Oh, okay. Don't mind if I do then. Hmm? The study of trees is very real at the library. Hello there, child. I'm studying flying snakes, Salary Lamb. In this book here, it says flying snakes can inflict mutable damage. Just like me. Because you are green. The entire garden is a waiting room for those in line to talk to Our Lady. I've been here for a few weeks. Oh, no. Five books about traveling to Nibiru in this shelf. What catches your attention? The Grand History of Lady Capricorn by James. During the most precious sunset of the galaxy, she lay down in the grassy hills, overlooking the civilization she built from scratch by her own ambition. Most beautiful of all the Zodiac, the timekeeper Capricorn had finally finished her job. Pfft. Most beautiful. That would be Pisces. Oh. First she built the engine. 
Then, with the spare part, she made the goat men to operate it. In a moment of peace after such contemplation, she fell asleep softly under the patient tree of winter, when a small pinkish petal fell into her delicate face. That petal grew into a lotus over the millennia, never to leave the lady's eye, completing her existence with pure beauty. A lotus out of her eye. Never again was Lady Capricorn seen without her flower. Alright. I'll talk about space fencing. Chapter 15, Nebulae Combat. To cast Nebulae, one must first be surrounded by a cloud of dust. Getting at least hydrate and helium, but may also work with other ionized gases. Start its constructed artifacts bathed in amethyst, emerald, or ruby allow for easter easier time channeling dust clouds in a controlled direction. Releasing Nebulae requires an initial spark, followed by enough pure gases to keep its beam locked into the target. Half-released Nebulae may cause skin injury and burns, depending on its temperature. Amethyst Nebulae burn too quickly under the coldest, while ruby clouds tend to take a longer time and therefore reach a hot, to hotter total temperature. Emerald clouds will absorb the environmental gases almost immediately, producing unexpected results depending on the battlefield chosen. That sounds like an attack might get in the future. Making the largest cakes. Unlike the first one, this one doesn't even have pictures. What a ripoff. Oh. Shelf only contains books for small children. The grand tale of Abraham Long Days. Sure. Abraham Long Days used to always travel by the same path in the forest. Everyone knew how to find him, as he was very strict with his routine. Just like you, Virgo. A nebulous day, however, he went found something he wasn't looking for in the slightest. What is it? What is it? He was perplexed by his discovery so much that he couldn't even breathe. His heart skipped a beat. Oh my, I wonder what it is. This is so mysterious. We have long days, starts sweating just at the sight of what he found. When he came to his senses, he realized that. What did he realize, Virgo? I'm glad dying to know! The can <laughs> To continue reading this marvelous story, please purchase the full version, version with season pass of the grand tale of Abraham Long Days. Typical capitalism. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> oh no. Cap Lady Capricorn must be stopped. She's implemented DLC. As well as Book of the Shelf is actually a recipe book about the biggest cakes. First page, it's dedicatory. Happy birthday, clerk! From Deneb Alge. Oh! Its title reads, It doesn't hurt to be the best, right next to a picture of a five foot tall sweet cake. Oh! Capricorn's diary? What? Why is it here? Isn't this Dabby's, da Dabby's library? Dabby! The water goat, right? Yes. She's often out running her errands for Capricorn. Did she steal her diary? Why would Capricorn keep a diary in the first place? Everything is registered in this constellation, even Capricorn's thoughts. Why this is here is still a mystery. Does it seem like Dabby would steal such a thing? We've seen all kinds of strange allegiance shifts in this temple, so it's not entirely odd. Hmm. Let's read it. Musashi and Deneb are fighting again. I don't know what to do to keep them calm. We just seem to get on each other's nerves, and it's hurting our work environment. I tried giving Denim a job far from here, but she keeps coming back and fighting with Musashi again. I hope I'll have a good night of sleep today to get this out of my mind. Hmm. That's why she would have dethroned Musashi so badly then. It must be sad. You shouldn't feel sorry for her. Deneba, Deneba Algeri was determined to have what she wanted. Just as we are right now. You're right, as always. I can't help to feel as if she would be happier if Capricorn just gave her a hug. Not everything can be solved with hugs, Ginger. This is a lesson you should learn. What? Alright. Keep all the old books in here so insects can eat their pages more easily. Oh? Okay. Fuck you, Claudio. Oh. Okay. Ow. 
Well, that's his... Bop. No more buffs for closes. Oop. No more poison. Alright, Claudio's almost dead. Block the flux. No thanks. Home run. Get out of here, Claudio. Our souls. So. Oh. oh god. I did not expect that one to go for two for two. Alright. Drink tea. Charge. The flux proceeds. Alright, and this will be a free bopping for me. Good crit. Rank up. Gradually more cute. Many books were permanently damaged. Sweet. The truck has the truck of destiny written all over the main panel, making it impossible to know which button is which. Nice. I'm not here. It's just an illusion. Thank oh, oh god, Bob's really gone. I'm never working on when we're working on the computer, it feels overwhelming. I come outside to write code on paper like nature intended. Ugh, coding on paper is the absolute worst. Mm, is there really anything we could do this way? Here's a nice garden of lampposts. Clockety clock. Snowman. Worry not, son of Saturn, for when Capricorn falls, all shall be consumed by the endless winter. Dead. Okay. Saved already? You went badly for too long. I can sense danger ahead for my dinosaurian sixth sense. That's a good idea, dinosaur friend. Oh, 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 we can't actually go into here. This is elevated. Hearts get. Clock makes marks the last low moments of this land. This particular clock was made of synthetic wood. Oh. Too many coffees. Okay. Time is now. The long waited moment. I have to take the symbol of Capricorn's dominion over these goatmen and faint stars. Without it, she'll have no more power to exert over innocent lives. Capitalism, the Workers' Manifesto, all this barbarity will come to an end. Then Taurus shall be next. We should proceed with even more caution from now on. It is said that Capricorn keeps with her a large battalion of Ashigars. Ashigars. Alright. Temple of Death. That's ominous.
What is your business here, mistress? I have an appointment with Capricorn. My password is 63. Oh, you do? That's great. You may pass. While you're at it, could you please tell her we need more coffee in the front row? We're overstocked with tea already. Have some. Oh, thank you. Well, that was easy. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Hmm. What should I do? Maybe now is the time to make my wish. I miscalculated the timing with that other star. What? You again! What happened in here? Oh, shit. Did uh, just... Dene Balgeti. Dead? But... But... We let her go! Fargo had mercy! Why would you do this? No buts. She's just a fallen dead nib now. You know I shouldn't be laughing about this. I'd let her live. She was supposed to resist longer than this. This is why you were in such a rush back then? Are you getting emotional over a star, Zodiac? She's just a useless pile of cosmic trash now. Nothing to get attached to. Oh well. That was a friend, I apologize. I never meant for it to get this bloody. But she refused to die so much. I think it's obvious she would refuse that. I just wanted to give some quick stabs to her heart. Quick. Stabs. It's such a, it's such a misfortune for Deneb al to have fallen in such a place. At least she'll be with her mommy soon. Well, what's going on? Step back, Ginger. Oh, Jesus. What? Where am I? What was that light? Where's Ginger? Ginger, where are you? Ginger! 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 Hey! What? Hey, Zodiac, over here. Jump around, see if you can find your way up here. I'll be waiting for you. Just make it quick, the pressure in here is nuts. What is this? Give me the horoscope, it's a nebula day. Due to the gravitational fields revolving around the supernova, you may find you can jump further than normal. Because of those fields, you can't perform any diagonal jumps. Horizontal and vertical jumps are possible in any direction. Press space to jump. Okay, jump puzzle. Not how I was expecting this to go. Oh, why are we here? Is it because we were near Deneb el when she died? It must be. It's always so uncomfortable being inside a supernova. Too bright and so messy. Have you witnessed a supernova event before? Yes. It's always this cold. But being in the early winter of the Capricornian lands, it's even colder. How could we get out of here? We need to go after Capricorn and my companion. I'm not so sure. Supernovas are still s s time and space conundrums to me. There is a way out, though. It's very tricky, but not impossible. Touch one of her memories. You might be able to open a gate. Every supernova can carries a chain of memories. You just need to take one with you, and the supernova will crumble. That's my cue. Oh, no. Wait. Come back. Ugh. This asymmetrical place. Of course this is the work of Deneb al -Gedi. I should get out of this dreadful mediocrity as soon quickly as possible. Alright, oh. 
There you are. I found it. The core. And it is mine. So much for this little thingy. The masked person embraces the fading core of Deneb Algedi. This is where we say farewell, Virgo of the Zodiac. May our destinies never align again. Whoa! Wait! I still have unanswered questions! She's gone. Need to get out of here quick. The pressure's getting too low for a Zodiac. Ginger! Hey! What is this? This is the stock stock market calculator of the late Deneb al -Gedi, a star memory. It is a limited edition that has more numbers than a normal mind could possibly fathom. You only carry one star memory with you. Okay. And now we got to pick one of her memories to take with us. I'm guessing... This is the mini Saturn of the late Deneb al a star memory. Rusty old doesn't, doesn't seem to be functional anymore. It is, however, detailed with intricate patterns. Hmm. Stolen from Pisces. Rusty would be able to. Uh... Okay. His ambition, patience, and the aqua aquamarine halberd of the late Deneb al Gedi, a star memory. It's very familiar and seems to have been stolen from Pisces. It's rusty and unwieldy, unsuitable for combat in this state. When touched, it produces an unusually soothing, steamy aroma. Let's take it. When touched, a fragment of this memory was exposed. Now with Pisces ugly weapon, I'll finally beat Busashi at his own game. No more second place for me. No more. <laughs> Damn it? What are you muttering alone in there? <laughs> Nothing. Just leave me be. You wouldn't understand. Are you in a bad mood again? Perhaps I could bring you some cold coffee. No, 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 shush, I don't want company. But Jane's brought a new coffee machine. It tastes a little better, I guess. It's just... I... Bring me a warm one today, please. If I do, could I sit here with you? We could drink together. Yeah. Oh. She really did steal Pisces' weapon. Need to report that to her. Oh. Well, this just got stranger. What is going on here? Oh, oh, hi. Hey. Um, that didn't sound good. Hello. Ginger. Gingerbread? Gingerbread? Gingerbread man! Come here now! I'll kill you when I find you. I'll tell you apart from making me worry this much. Ginger, I beg of you. Please answer me. Where are you? Please, answer. This isn't right, Ginger. I calculated every part of our plan. It was going to be perfect. Then that... Hmm? My head is spinning. The air. Ginger, please answer. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have brought you here. I shouldn't. I need to find a way out of this place. That is... There's very definitely... Something? Portal? Some moments later, back at Capricorn's chambers. Huh. Here we go. Virgo! Is that you? Ginger! 
You're alive and well and still perfectly symmetrical. I missed you, my friend. I thought... I thought... You... I'm okay. I'm fine and certainly alive, see? No one has eaten me. Not even the murderous lady. She disappeared just like you did. Where have you been? What happened? I was really worried here. Well, I was... And then... Wow. So much has happened. Oh, no. What is the ruckus up there? Is that Virgo? Who let you in, Miss Virgo? Do you two have an appointment? I... I do have an appointment. My password is 63. Registered. Musashi, you may begin our bureaucratic frisk on her and her companion. So that's his name! Hmm? Sister. Why do you have Denne Balgetti's memoir? This. This is from Denne Balgetti's supernova, I'm sure. It told her to register the items she would spare. What have you done to, to Dine Belgetti, Virgo? Have you killed my general? You have 15 minutes of my time. Explain the situation quickly. Musashi readies his scabbard. Oh. Well, we... We know you're the timekeeper, but we really can't explain this in just 15 minutes. I'll be quick. I, too, wish to end this in short order. I didn't end her life. She was beheaded by another star. Don't know this star's constellation or occupation. She had pink hair and was wearing a mask. She was also carrying a cute green alpaca with a fluffy face. Hmm. The situation does seem peculiar. As I was informed, you were the one spilling my workers' blood all over the company. You are correct, and I couldn't care what less about what you think. Situation. Just as you don't seem to care about your own daughter being murdered. Other than for logistical reasons. This scrolling star background, it's really cool, but it is starting to hit in the GPU kind of hard, which is why it, there's a bit of stuttering every now and then. However, my purpose here isn't related to Dene Balgetti. I came here after you. And I will dethrone you now, Capricorn, the timekeeper. And why would you? You already brought an unnecessary amount of havoc. The engine is under maintenance for the first time in millennia. Is it your intent to bring even more chaos to my constellation? Long before our constellations became what they are today, our fates were sealed. It will bring back the Golden Age. It will realign the constellations once again. We cannot coexist any longer. Your mere existence is a plague to balance. The only imbalance I sense today is your presence in my temple. And... Bringing back the Golden Age, is that truly what you seek? Not under my supervision. I will bow to the rulers no more. right hand Samura Musashi. My lady, allow me to end this with unproductivity. End with this unproductivity, and allow me to avenge my sister. Do as you please with this zodiac, Musashi, and don't waste mercy on her. All right. You have killed my sister. Prepare to die. Okay. You're gonna get a counter, but that's who... Alright. I'm gonna charge my barricade. Okay, this should be relatively... Red Moon. Alright.
No buffs, no buffs for you. Oh god. Blue moon. Poof. That's it. All right. Coffee, tea, cocoa bean. The amount of damage he has dealt to this galaxy is irreparable. The engine must be stabilized. The most beloved soldier. My daughter. You have ten more minutes. You will be expunged from this universe, Virgo, the dreadful queen. Ginger, go get the Zeppelin ready. The Telaria is still on cooldown. Alrighty! Ten minutes is more than enough. And it's the Holy Queen to you. Oh god. Oh my god. Does each move take up time? Oh my god. Holy shit. Immune. Whoa, what? What is this? Capricorn has been stopped. Capricorn has been stopped. All right. Oh wow, that did nothing. Uh, I'm gonna run out of time. Your time is running out. Oh god. Uh, yep. Oh god. That... Hmm. Damn, that's uh that got bit by the lag there. All right, let's just get right into this, Bop. Capricorn's katana spawns. Shit. All right, let's set up our barricade. Fuck. Alright, we need to fuck up this damn katana. Oh god, what? Leave Capricorn to us! Saboteurs! We're here to end capitalism once and for all! Workers' Manifesto has reached its peak! Holy shit! No effect. According to my agenda, you two don't have an appointment scheduled. Ay yo. Oh. What? You hit your own men? Nothing can save your soul, you wretched fiend! Shall have no mercy on you. This fight won't end until you drop that crown. Uh, uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Your time is running out. What? Oh god. I. I 
should really set this up again. Okay. Ow, ow, oh god. Oof. One minute to spare. Oh god. Oh. Michael acquired the crown of Capricorn, the timekeeper. It's over, Capricorn. I have failed, and so have my guards. My company is in ruins. The future is unknown, with those leeches slithering on my doorstep. Just waiting for me to fall. I feel sadness, Virgo, queen of purity. But this lotus dries my tears. The world is filled with parasites such as this. I hope you have the courage to face your fate, as I did. You'll need it to face your reflection in the abyss. If you truly want to bring back the time of the rulers, be prepared. An arduous path awaits you. Take my title, but I'll hold on to my honor. Farewell, dreadful queen. A few moments later at the temple docks. Eh? Pisces! Virgo! Is it you, Virgo? I'm so sorry, I forgot my glasses at home. Or somewhere else. Pisces, we saw each other last week. How could you forget my face already? I'm pretty sure it's your hair. It looks a ta tad different. Have you trimmed the ends? Dyed the bangs? Lady Pisces! It's nice meeting you again. What a delight! You brought in Ginger as well. Oh my. You're such a grown-up now, little cookie. Oh, how I missed you. You saw him last week. Did I? I don't really remember it. You must have met another Pisces. There's only one Pisces in this universe. What about the other universes, then? Off to the good things now. Let's head inside the Zeppelin. Yoink. Did you know? Did you know? I'm about to throw a huge party. A party for you, Virgo. Oh. My beloved one. What did I do to, to deserve such festivities? I don't need a reason. Parties are fun. I already went and told everyone, but almost no one's coming. They're all too busy or something. Yes, they are. To schedule a meeting with Capricorn. We had to wait for weeks. Wow. I'd be bored out of my mind if it, just a, if it was just a single hour of waiting. As you can see, I just left Capricorn's, Capricorn's realm. It was such a mess down there. Lots of despair. And taxes. We just left as well. And Virgo vanquished with all the taxes. Did you really? That's amazing. I'm glad our little Virgo did some good, finally. Those taxes, they're so ugly and unnecessary. Can't we solve everything with a big hug? Virgo said we can't. I guess I'll just leave you two alone. I must rest for the... What? Why? Don't you enjoy our company anymore, my dearest? What about the love you promised me, then? It's because I didn't tell you how much I love you today? Virgo doesn't need endless decorations of love every day, Pisces. I definitely don't need that. Yes, we already discussed this many times by now, Pisces. I'm on my own righteous mission at the very moment. I don't have the time for these kinds of Venusian matters. I always have time for my love. Love is the purest ingredient in this universe. Uh, the, the cleanest? Love's what brings us... Purpose? You can't even talk about it. How could you feel something you can't even explain? There's more to it than useless long words. With love you can keep the constellations aligned. Maybe you can even control our fates. Or change them. Pisces, you are the oracle. Don't forget about that. Can't you see our fates already? You know that nothing ever changes once it's foreseen. We have to live in this reality as it is. But... 
What is the difference between reality and illusion when I sense both the same way? What separates the truth from lies other than how you feel about them? I know that fate can't be undone. I'm well aware of that. My feelings toward you. They come from the heart, Virgo. Then, can't we live in the illusion that is our present? Together? I'm wasting time with this hateful quest of yours. Looking for the past. The golden age. In order to change our fates. Does it even matter? You don't even spend time with me anymore. I'm getting old waiting for you to come back. Hmm. I'll be at your party, okay? I just can't stay with you at all times anymore. Was it Pisces who foresaw the end? For a foresaw doom for everyone. The collapse of everything. And Virgo, knowing that the future is immutable, is going about this as a way to prevent everyone's death. I know our lives would be better if lived if you weren't the oracle carrying this burden. And if I weren't, well, myself. I can't just forget what you saw. That vision you had of me drenched in stardust. A blinding light. It all happened today. Daniel Valgetti is dead. I arrived in Capricorn's chambers, and there she lay. A masked star killed her. Your premonition was right all along. Huh. I... The whole future you have foreseen comes true. We won't even exist anymore. I must do everything in my prowess to keep the constellations aligned. Cleansing everything that is incorrect is my duty. And you know that love won't solve that on its own. Fate is upon us, and we must be a force that much stronger than our destinies. We will be, Virgo. I trust you. Virgo may be the only one who can trick fate. Trick? Fate? I trust Virgo as well. Even if she's abandoning me. Thank you, Pisces. Ginger. You are all too kind. I hope I can protect your kindness from this filthy universe. You will protect us! With a lot of bloodshed! Ginger! Sorry. With a lot of purification. We'll protect everyone, Pisces. Rest assured. Fate is upon us. You. You mentioned a masked star. I think I may have something to do with this. I... might have released something far more dangerous than my visions of our future. What? What do you mean? What have you done? I... I might have released the demon star, Virgo. What? Boom! <laughs> and now we're here. The Akasha. How pretty and dull it is. Both at the same time. Are you too space sick or do you always spout this much nonsense? That flying ship is too unstable. I hope you fix it before our next flight, Ginger. Trust me, I'm on it. Pisces. We'll talk later about that demon star you mentioned. Meanwhile, I'll go shopping. Ooh. Yes. Business that you're on. Seek the centaur Sharon to discuss her next space trip. Talk to Sharon in the factory of the wounded healer. Alright. I'm fixing up the Zeppelin. I'll be ready shortly. I think Sharon said he wanted to talk. Okay. Insightful fa box filled with bloodshot eyes. Can't open it. Bright tape says caution. Highly contagious. You wonder what would be more contagious than this world's ludicrosity. Uh, I should really end this video. Welcome to the Akasha, a hub connecting all of the Zodiac realms. And your passcode to proceed with the landing sequence. I wonder when Gemini found the time to add all this technology to the docks. Hmm. What?
Okay. That just teleports me to the uh, friggin' uh, tutorial land. Documents about the Zodiac's daily lives registered by the indexers. Oh, it's this fella. Franz Beyond. Everything in my store is the hottest couture. No discounts. Oh, wow. We could spend... Golden Age relics on... Color schemes. Interesting. We will definitely have to come back for you. You already know me. It is I, the snowman. Are you ready for some random fighting? What? Okay. Oh, it's the goat black hole. Hey, I'm procrastinating. Ow. Feeling bureaucracy. Now he's mad salary good. Big time crit. Random fighting. Oh? Hello, shiny big sister. Allow me to offer you wares to purchase. Oh! Pebble. I have a pebble in my bag. Okay. Thank you for your outstanding patronage. Thank you, Sully Van. Vinda Matrix. Milady! Would you like to purchase some of the items I managed to salvage from your bloodshed? Tee <laughs> Sure. These look interesting. Make sure to bring you the best of the best, my queen. <laughs> this is actually a better... Grab this. Okay. Got lots of good shit going on around here. We're not open today. I am not sorry. What even are you? Eh, eh, eh. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, yes, you do have that smell. Yes, yes, this will do. Come closer, take a look. Do you see the cauldron? No, not really. I can throw things into it. It all will all combine into some marvelous new things. I call it baking. 
Wouldn't it be boiling? And this is only the beginning of my services. Not really interested. No, 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 my dear. Isn't your purpose here to dethrone your sisters? I have only one sister in the world, and she isn't my priority right now. Why do you ask? I can bake you items for your quest, yada yada. First one for you should be free, of course. At least you have some sense on how to run a business. Put all the materials inside the cauldron in. You can count the time while I mix them up. Ooh, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Hot diggity. Oh, God. I'm just going to keep that katana. Boost. Not enough materials. Shit. See? It wasn't so terrible. Have really timed items come out with a delightfully crisp auto boost. Nice. The realistically that katana is gonna be an absolute boss. And it might actually be worth getting this. See, so now we have mutable ranged. And, uh... Cardinal damage. For melee. Melee melee. Bleh. I speak gooder. Ooh, facility of the wounded healer. What? Oh, so you're saying I can cut your head off right here. Oh, oh I like you. I must say, hats look really good on me. I'd hate for a little decapitation to get in the way of that. Foul star! I have business with you. Whoops! Looks like I gotta hop out of here now. Maybe we can catch up next time. Bye-bye! Care to explain yourself? I'll take this as no. It would seem that she fled. Yes, all the ninja spoke she left behind confirms it. Oh, really? And then the foul star fled, leaving only a trail of almonds in its smoke. There. Registered. Now. We're overjoyed that our holy queen managed to arrive safely in the Akasha. How was your trip? A lot of turbulence. I've heard reports about some distasteful space reptiles blocking the space roads. Unfortunately, there was no spatial information to be found about the curious space creatures around the Dioscor... Dioscorae Library. What an incompetent indexer you are. Make sure to learn about that before I come back from Taurus. Are you confident about your endeavors in the forest? It tells me you may find misfortune in those lands. I mean, this fortune-telling book here says so, at least. Ginger said you had something to discuss with me. Spit it out. I don't have time to sit here sipping tea with a centaur. Ah, yes. I needed to warn you. Be careful in the Taurus realm. Don't eat, their f don't eat of their food. It might be poisonous. Also, the index under my command brought some important intel about a star who fled from the astrological prison. What? Virgo, Virgo! We have to leave quickly! Libra is coming here! With a huge fleet! A huge! I heard you, Ginger. Go! Prepare the Zeppelin. We aren't finished here, Chiron. Oh, shit. I hope all the events will run accordingly this time. This time? Alright. Infiltrating the space forest. Let's we'll see if there's anything else we can get. Hello. You may not have what you want, but I do have what you never knew you wanted. Ooh. Bolt action rifle. That sounds like fun. <laughs> good business, good manners. Oops. 
facility of past events. I am the god of this universe. No, you're not. You look just the same as a heretic to me. I am... Laplace's demon, the main attraction of this show! <laughs> Nothing like you. You! You are! Virgo, the Holy Queen. Your superior. Zodiac. The true main character. You are... Correct. Ahem. Would you like to revisit your memories of the Zodiac, my lady? Precisely. Now get out of my way. Boing, boing, boing. Never forget. You can only ask... You can only access the memories stored in your chromosphere. That's where your short-term memory resides. Anything past that turns into an illusion in the Akasha, this place of collective subjectivity. Hmm. Oh, hi. Virgo, can you sit a bit, close, a bit closer? I don't want to talk loudly. What is it now, Pisces? Okay, look into my eyes and tell me what you see. My own reflection? Right now I see Ginger in the background playing with his toy scarecrow. Exactly! What is your reflection saying to you? Nothing. Look again, Virgo! I'm telling you something important. You need to cooperate. You're... telling me? You are telling yourself. You must learn what is about to happen from within. I would love if you'd be more specific. It's about something you're going to do. Something you'll do in the future. I can't express it well with words right now. I'm a bit shocked. Shaken even. Can I lay my head on your shoulder? You normally don't ask before do- mm -hmm. Good night. Rest well. While you have time to spare. Well now I want to know what it, what she was about to say. Oh. Okay, so these are just memories. Oh shit. Are we actually gonna revisit this boss battle? You're ten minutes early for a scheduled meeting, Virgo. Our negotiation will take longer anyways. I'm here to discuss the Earth Zodiac's treaty. Oh I'm sure Deneb Al Gedi already disclosed you with you my decision on the treaty. Do not agree with the terms anymore. I'll pay the price for the contract's termination. Be unproductive to continue associating, assisting any more Zodiacs with the amount of work I already have on my hands. We still have some time, according to my schedule. Is there anything more you would like to discuss? The treaty was clear, Capricorn. would stand together against the Zodiac Age. When the Zodiacs rule over the galaxy, the cycle of greed and disgrace repeats itself. The conflicts are far more evident. You regret your decision to go against our ancient treaty. You join forces against the others, Capricorn. This is a turning point for our galaxy. If we defend the Golden Age, everything will remain in place. Continue to live in harmony. The only thing I know as, as of now is that I won't be siding with the rulers. If this turns into a war, so be it. We all have armies for greater, far greater than theirs. This will be a swift victory in our favor. Or would I abandon certain victory? To keep this treaty to defend their kin. To defend the old ways. Because the old ways were proven right on every occasion in every corner of the galaxy. Milky Way will be, will be laid to ruin if this continues. Pisces predicted. You're relying, you're relying on your faith, Alan. In the Redeemer once again. It's unfortunate that I am not religious. Besides, my prophets are bound to skyrocket, now that I've stopped obeying Father's commands. Prophets, prophets, prophets! We're talking about the future of the galaxy, Ga Capricorn, not your prophets! Your time is up. I'll see you at our next meeting, Virgo. Don't forget to take your parcel with you. Be on guard. Next time I come here, it won't be to give you a friendly reminder of your obligations. Yes, yes. Do as you please. I have many contracts to sign right now. Would you do me a favor and call the next goat in line on your way out? Oof. Oof. Damn. Stay in touch with your memories. Me. <laughs> Thank you, Laplace. That was fun. Was interesting. Got a moment with Pisces. 
Speaking of Pisces, don't get yourself hurt out there. I'll bake you some cookies when you get back. Hey! Whoops! I can make you lemonade instead. Uh, n no sugar, please. Not a sugar fan. Oh. I mean, I guess we should be going, right? Hey, Virgo, there you go. Let us be on our way. Taurus will be next. And here comes Libra. Libra is here already. The ship is ridiculously slow, though. <laughs> Go, Ginger. Turn on the engines already. I'm trying, I'm trying. Play it safe. Number two, the sacred forest. Oh, wow. Oh, what? Oh, wow. We can jump. We are technically in control. Oh, God. Hold up, girl. Identify yourself. Oh, please don't speak directly to her like that. She's famous. Famous? I never heard of this blondie. Oh, but she is. She's Maydonna, the singer. Maydonna? Yep. Alive and in the flesh. I can't believe it. Is it her surprise visit due to the... F Is her surprise visit due to the food festival? See, Boltova, we're getting famous already. Even Maydonna is coming to our festival. Hmm. Still a bit skeptical. Heard Maydonna had pink hair. Oh, well, she... We're smashing with you. <laughs> hmm. Let's be mutable. Quiet, you. I simply dyed my hair. We artists do that quite freak frequently. Update yourself, fiend. Uh, f fiend. She meant friend. Pal. She considers all of her fans to be your comrades. Tch. Need to get ready for this festival of yours. My hair didn't get this shiny by standing in the streets all day. Oh, oh of course, Miss Maydonna. Please forgive Boltoven here. He's a bit slow and not really into celebrity gossip. I'll make sure he listens to your new album before the festival. You better do that. Hey, I'm not slow, he says. A few seconds too late. Oh, Virgo, you go really cut into character. I'm so proud. Thank you, Ginger. That was the best way to get into the forest, anyways. They don't threaten us immediately. We might find their weak weaknesses more easily. The guards here are so stubborn that even disposing of their corpses would be too much of a hassle right now. Let's get going. We have a crown to take. Yes! Fate is upon us. Fate is upon us. Oh boy. Well, this... Changed quickly. Oh god, what? Ginger. Did you hear that? Voice? Nay, hey, nothing. Only the raw silence of the sacred forest. The voice urges me to jump. For some reason, there are puddings blocking my way back. I must proceed. Oh, wow. Crystals bringing positive energy protection to your home. Hmm. Heresy count. Oh, does that mean we can commit heresy? <laughs> Heretics pardoned. Total deaths, crowns collected, quests completed, realms cleared, friends found. We found Sullivan. Everything it's perfect box. Coffee's drunk, lemonade's drunk, tea's drunk. I don't really. I ain't really vibing with the fact that we, uh. We've got more of this going on. Oh, wow. Okay, so next time, when we load into this, we're just going to be making a fucking super jump across the whole party.
this is... I don't know how I feel about this. Background chanting. <laughs>